Hello everyone, in this video I will be talking about how to get out of silver. A lot of people in silver feel like they are stuck there and there is no way out and I have felt this as well because I was stuck in silver. I was silver for, for a lot of time, I go up to silver a little and then I fall right back down. So in this video I am going to give you 10 tips that you need to follow and you easily get out of silver in no time. So the first thing is don't soak you. Or at least if you soak you, be aware that it's going to be very difficult for you. If you find a friend, it's going to be much easier. Uh, every game will feel much easier when you are with a friend because your friend, if he is on your level, he is most likely better than the other silvers. Uh, because the silvers are usually either people that don't play the game or people that are still really bad. If your friend is really bad but he wants to improve just like you, it means that you have at least two people who are going to be serious in your team. And otherwise you could have only you that is serious and all other four are just trolling. So it's going to be much easier if you play with a friend or with a few friends. The second thing is to train your aim and your movement. So, for training your aim, I would recommend using aimbots or playing that much, mostly on the Valve servers, because people there are going to be much worse than any other servers, like Brutal CS or Warm-Up servers. The people there will seem like they are cheating to you. So just play the Valve that much, and really focus, play it for like, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 minutes, and try to play as good as you can there. And you can also play aimbots if you want to. It's a Steam Workshop mob that you can easily find. You can even just google aimbots Steam Workshop for CSGO and it will come up. I have a video about how to train your aim on that mob, so if you are interested you can check that out. For movement, I would recommend playing some KZ maps so you can just go on a map like I am right now and just jump around. You can watch a few movement tutorials to find out the basics of movement because there will be a lot of things that you don't know, believe it or not. Uh, so you have to just train your aim every day until you find out that there is a huge improvement. Also watch some of my videos like the one about uh, pre aim and the one about spray control because these two things are very important and they are going to get you easy kills. So it's really important to watch my videos or if you want to, any other videos, it doesn't matter that it's my videos, it matters that you learn how to spray and how to pray. But I think my videos will explain it perfectly for you, that's why I recommend watching my videos. And my third tip is to watch demos. And now, people that are not in silver will think that telling a silver to watch a demo is going to be too difficult, like he's not going to understand the things. I don't want you to understand anything. I want you to look at what the player you are watching is looking at and where he is standing. There is nothing easier to see than this. You look at where his crosshair is and where he's standing. And you s remember and you play these positions in your next game. There is nothing easier than this. It's not complex, it's not uh, like. It's not difficult, you just look at where the player is and you look at where he's put his crosshair. It's easy. So you have to watch demos. Watch the demos, see where the player is playing and just put your crosshair where they like to put their crosshair because most likely they are putting their crosshair on good places and they are standing on good places. Like as an example, if you are holding an angle like this and occasionally picking like this, this is good, and if you do this, you're going to play much better than 90% of silvers if you just do this. Because silvers just don't know what is happening. If you at least know one good position, and you play, like, let's say, that good position, and then sometimes you play something else, whatever, it's going to be much better than the other silvers. And if you have a general understanding of pre-aim, then you're going to be just the best player in the server. That's how easy it is. For one week of just focusing on learning these things, 
you'll become much better. You don't even need to worry about utility yet. Because the I will give you one tip for the utility usage and I have a video on utility usage if you want to go in depth. Use your mode of early to stop a rush. People like to rush ramp, let's say, usually on this map. So you just small ramp, let's say like that. Or not like that, but something like this, let's say. So you just molly ramp, doesn't matter, you can even just molly it like this. Throw the mollies where people like to rush, and you can throw a nade behind the molly. And you don't need to worry about other things. When you want to pick something, you can throw some kind of a random flash. It doesn't really matter, people are not going to turn around anyway. And if you want to fight an angle, you can smoke another angle. Like you can just throw a random smoke pretty much. Like this, to smoke off powers, and then you can fight a ramp. And you can even throw some kind of a random flush. This is the only things you need to know in silver. This is so simple. It is really easy, but you have to have someone to tell you the things in order for you to learn them. You have to just focus on those things, and you see how much easier to be getting out of silver. Focus on the three things I told you. Don't so you. Or if you saw Q, be aware that it's going to be more difficult. Train your aim and movement. With that much aimbots, KZ maps, just jumping around the map, whatever. And watch videos about movement and about aim. The more you watch, the more you're going to learn. And the more you learn, the more you're going to improve. Right? And the third thing is to watch demos. In the demos, just pay attention to where the person is standing and where he is aiming. And fourth is optional. And it's to learn just a little bit about utility. I gave you a few simple examples. If you learn just a little bit more examples, and if you learn a few smokes, you're going to be 10 times better than anyone in the server. I promise you. So if this video helped you, leave a like, subscribe to my channel to not miss out on any upcoming content. And thank you for watching.